Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I would like to show you how to create an Amazon seller account, so be sure to watch all the way through so you don't miss any of the important steps as we do have a lot to cover. Now, before I hop into this video, if you are new to this channel you're going to want to subscribe as I talk about the best ways to make a full-time income with Amazon FBA and always get straight to the point. So please consider subscribing and turning on your post notifications if you like channels that don't waste your valuable time. With that said let's get right into this video. Now, as Amazon continues to grow, opportunities to build an e-commerce business by selling on the site grow as well. E-commerce underwent an incredible surge in 2020 as consumers shifted from in-store shopping to online. As the year progressed, 34% of consumers said their online spending had increased even while their overall spending dropped. By the end of 2020, 74% of consumers believe the majority of consumer shopping would happen online in the future, up from 69% just months earlier. These trends indicate that 2021 holds immense potential for e-commerce entrepreneurs. However, if you want to take advantage of the enormous opportunity Amazon represents, you must first go through the Amazon seller registration process. So, to make sure your account is verified, giving you the chance to build a successful Amazon business, I will walk you through the process. Once you've figured out what you plan on selling on Amazon, you'll need to go through the Amazon seller registration process, which is really quite simple. Now, what information does Amazon need when you go through the registration process? You will need your business information, including your legal business name, business address, contact information, email address for the company account, an internationally chargeable credit card and a phone number. You will also need your federal tax ID. This can be your social security number, your business federal tax ID number and your state tax ID if you are a US seller. So make sure you have all this information ready before you register your Amazon seller account. So step one is to go to services.amazon.com. Next, you will want to scroll down the page, below the heading to where it says become an Amazon seller. On the right side, look for the see pricing link below the make money header and click it. If you click on the orange sign up button, you'll immediately be taken to the registration page for a professional seller. The see pricing link on the other hand, shows you the difference between the individual and professional accounts, and allows you to choose which registration you want. The third step is to choose between an individual or professional seller account. When it comes to Amazon seller plans, you have two options, professional and individual. If you're going to sell more than 40 products per month, then signing up as a professional is your best bet. Even if you're selling as a hobby and don't consider yourself to be a professional, this plan will help you save money. But, if you're planning to sell on a smaller scale, like fewer than 40 units per month, select the individual plan. The next step is to enter your email and select create a new account. Once you've chosen the seller plan that is right for you, the following window will appear where you'll be asked to enter in your email address and a password of your choosing for your seller account. When you're done, click the next button. This will take you to a second screen asking you to enter in a one-time password generated by Amazon, which will be sent to the email address you provided in the previous screen. This is Amazon's way of verifying the email you entered. After you've added that one-time password to its corresponding field, click the Create Your Amazon Account button. Now, step number five is to choose your business location and business type. In this step of the Amazon seller registration process you will need to share the following information. Your business location, this is the country in which your business is located. It's extremely important that this is accurate, as Amazon will be verifying it later on. You will also need to submit your business type. You'll be able to choose your business entity from the following options. Most fall into the privately owned category. You can choose from state owned business, publicly owned business, privately owned business, charity and none of the above. I am an individual. In this case, you will need to enter your full name. Make sure you enter your first, middle and last names. When you are done, click the agree and continue button. Step number six is to enter your personal information. In this step you'll be asked to provide Amazon with a number of personal details. This includes a form of identification which could be either your passport number or your driver's license. You may also be required to give them your phone number. Again, this is for verification purposes. When everything has been entered, click on next at the bottom of the screen. The next step is to choose your marketplaces. So, once you've completed the individual information section, check the box below the marketplaces, 
This refers to the location of an Amazon store like Amazon Canada or Amazon UK in which you'd like to sell, and then click Next. Now, in Step 8 you need to enter your billing information. This is another way Amazon is now verifying a potential seller's identity as they want to make sure their credit card information is valid. So, after you've chosen your marketplaces, you'll be asked to enter in the number and expiration date of one of your credit cards, as well as the name that appears on that card. When you're done, click Next at the bottom of the page. The next step in the Amazon registration process is to add the information for your product and Amazon store. After you supply your credit card information and it has been validated, you'll be asked a few questions about your Amazon store and the products you plan to sell. To move on to the next phase of the Amazon seller registration process, you'll need to answer the following questions. What is the name of your Amazon store? Whether or not you have UPC codes for your products? They also want to know if you are the manufacturer and or brand owner of the products you're selling. And if you have a registered trademark for your products. Once you answer these questions, click the next button, which will take you to the last step, which is the address validation. So for the last step, when you've completed all of the other steps in the verification process, you'll be asked to confirm the business address you provided in step six, which was the personal information section of the sign up process. After clicking on the confirm button, if the address displayed is correct, a new screen will appear. It explains that you will receive a postcard at that address, along with a verification code. Then, when you receive the card, enter the code provided into the enter code below field and click next to finish the verification process. Once you're verified, you're in. To be on the safe side, I recommend setting up two-step verification on your account for increased security. But once your identity and business information has been verified, all you need to do to get started is to log into sellercentral.amazon.com. And this is what your seller account home screen will look like without any sales yet, of course. Now, as you probably know by now, there are a lot of steps involved in building an Amazon business. And I wouldn't recommend piecing everything together by simply watching videos on YouTube. This is why I suggest investing your time in a great free training that can guide you through this process. I recommend this training because this is the best training on the market and one that I have personally gone through. They walk you through step by step, every aspect of what it takes to start grow and scale your Amazon business. This training will build off of what I talk about inside my videos so I left a link for you in the description and if you're serious about selling on Amazon I encourage you to check it out. So now that you know how easy it is to go through the Amazon seller registration process and start an Amazon business, don't waste any more time and get started today. Thanks for joining in and please make sure to watch the next videos with more Amazon FBA tips that will show up right about now.